drill number four to reposition. It's very important for you to get a feel for me going into that first rail. So I want you to practice cheating the pocket and I'll practice manipulating the path. Two rail position. Probably the most important type of position, especially when it comes to the game of nine ball. You're going to find yourself, if you're playing properly, constantly going two rails around the table, using the cushions to control your speed and your direction and to come into your zones properly. So it's very important that you learn all aspects of two rail position. It comes up in many different forms. Right here we're going to take 50 shots from this same position. Uh, what I did is I marked a spot six inches off the end rail, put the object ball there. Cue ball goes on the spot, unless your spot's a little rickety like this, just push it in front of the spot, holding the angle. Okay, what we want to learn here is how to go two rails long and then two rails short of this pocket. And we're going to pay attention to the same variables we did on the one rail. The speed, the tip position, and the hit. Uh, how full and how thin we're going to cheat this pocket. This first shot right here, I want the cue ball to come down this path. Hit this rail and go down towards the paper. So I'm going to pocket the ball on the thin side because I want the cue ball to go right into the rail. Focus on the hit first. And then I apply a little bit of left hand English. Okay. Come down here. Here's better. It's not too bad. Do one more at that target for you. Okay. Again, focus on the thin hit. And don't go blind after you hit it. Make sure you, you pocketed the ball on the thin side. Just get used to it. You become a better player. Okay. That one I hit a little too high. And I seen right here, the top spin kind of shot me in the foot. Put a little too much top. And the cue ball's still rolling this way. Boom. So when it comes out here, kind of slowed it down. I didn't hit it any softer. Okay, so you'll be careful not to go too high because it'll bend it in. Your next target is this diamond. We're skipping over this one because on some tables it's very difficult to come this long without scratching. So you're going right in here. And remember, you're taking 10 shots at each target before you move on. I just want to touch on each one. Now on most tables, right around this, this diamond here to get, to get down here. Stay on the thin side or a clean hit. Don't hit it too full. really flirting. Okay, you see how close I had to come to get down to that middle diamond? That's why I'm not asking you to do that. That's a little too much. Alright, but now I gotta figure out I hit here and I'm aiming here. So I hit it too high or I didn't put enough left. So let me put a little more left on it. Okay, now I'm right where I want to be. Jen, that's good. That's how you learn, messing with the variables. How full, how thin, how high, how low, how much spin, okay? The quicker you start paying attention to, the, to these variables, the faster you'll learn. All right, that's two rails long of this pocket. Okay, learn your pool lingo. Now we're going two rails short. I will, if you want to land here, I want you to come into the cushion here and then hit the paper. Now you want to hit the ball more center pocket or a little bit full, a little bit lower. Okay, that's a little lame there, I think. Yeah, see? I really want to hit here. I kind of let it get away too quickly. I need to draw it a little bit. I let it go into the rail too fast. Okay, it was a good amount of spin, but I need a little bit of draw. I just let the cue ball shoot into the rail too quickly there. Don't do that. Keep it off the rail just a second. Okay, that's pretty good, I think. Okay, yeah, that's where you want to go. Boom, and bounce. And remember, you'll be using this paper. I'm going to put it over here for this target. Okay. And you'd like to come in before the paper, using the cushion to control your speed. Okay. Now you definitely want to start hitting the ball a little bit full. Full side of the pocket, keeping the cue ball off the rail. The thing is, because you're keeping the cue ball off the rail, it's hitting the rubber softer. 
So the rubber is not giving you the speed that it was giving you. You, especially for this last target up here, especially for this target, you have to spin the cue ball. The spin has to give you the speed because the cushion is not going to do it for you. All right, and if you can't, well, let me, let me show you how it works. Get a little full, very low. You're going to hit softer so you can get more draw, but you're going to put more spin to give you the speed. Okay, very, very deep, very deep. Now, that shot, I don't know if I can hit it any better. Okay, I hit that pretty good. If you have a tough time, if you're playing on a new cloth that's very slick and you can't stop your cue ball from going in there and the spin's not, pull this ball out a little bit. Now you can hit it a little bit fuller. Or if you want to keep the ball there, pull the cue ball down a little bit. Now you can hit it fuller and draw it back. Okay, But first, try your absolute best to learn this shot. Because if you learn this, you're really getting a good feel for two rail position because everything. You're cheating the pocket, you're feeling the draw, and you're using the spin. You're really putting the whole package together on this shot. See how... Boom. Now look. Soft. This is okay. If you do this, I'm happy because you are learning the concept in the direction of the shot. See, I went very, very short on that, on that shot, which is okay. You're learning the shot. Okay. One more, and we're all set with the two rail. Very, very full. I drew it too much. You get the idea. Ten shots at each target, two points every time you land on the paper, and just watch your scores go up and up and just improve a little bit each day.